May God Almighty bless you all. Peace and good to you. All of us pass through difficult moments. All of us feel moments where we feel lonely, when we feel not understood. When we feel as all the world has fallen apart around us, we feel abandoned and, humanly speaking, we always start to think that even God has abandoned us. But at that moment, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace to look up to Him. I am here in this beautiful church dedicated to the Holy Trinity. And the Holy Trinity reminds us of this important aspect in our lives, that God himself is a community, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And that fact gives us courage to go on in our lives. No matter what we go through, when we talk to him, when we open our hearts to him, we realize that he will be leading us to different paths, to different situations that we have never thought about before. Why? Because when we talk to the Lord who is Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, he shows us, first of all, that he is a father. God is a father and the Father of all of us, irrespective of who we are, irrespective of what we do, irrespective of what we think. Secondly, that this God is a Savior, true Son, the Son Jesus. He saved us and He still offers us His salvation. Jesus, the Son of God, made man, the second person of the Holy Trinity, God himself, gives us this salvation, a salvation that reaches to us when we mostly need it, especially when we feel that we are at the deepest recesses of our sadness. Thirdly, this God is a God that sanctifies. Who sanctifies? The Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, the one who encourages us to start again, start afresh. No one is perfect, no one is holy, although we all want to be. But if we open ourselves to the encouraging of the Holy Spirit, we find strength to keep going on. And we tell him with the earnest and greatest heart, Holy Spirit, show me the way. Holy Spirit, enlighten me. Holy Spirit, gives me joy. Holy Spirit, fill me with hope. So moments of great sadness. We have the Holy Trinity who is with us, who is holding us. And obviously, the Holy Trinity gave us a mother who is Mary. And Mary is our comfort, especially in our discomfort. She is our joy when we feel without joy. And it was she who led the people at Cana, the servants to Christ, to fill them with water. And then that water changed into wine, the joy. She leads us to Christ, who is our joy. So let us pray to her to intercede for us, especially in moments of darkness and discouragement. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. And may God bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son 
and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.